Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Dustin Crace and I am in the kitchen, so that means either I'm cooking or I'm drinking. And today we're going to do a drinking with Dustin, and this is going to be kind of a PAX edition of it because um, I was introduced to this drink um, at PAX. Uh, Saturday night, we were kind of, you know, just getting a little, I don't know, maybe just a little sick of the uh, the convention and we just decided let's go out and let's have some fun so we took a uh, trolley they had some trolleys there that would take you to places to eat we took a trolley over to South Boston we were going to go to a Japanese restaurant but then we got there and we kinda looked at the restaurant and looked at how we were dressed <laughs> and uh, yeah Sarah was wearing her um, I believe she yeah she was wearing her uh, Link costume that day and we're like, hmm, that restaurant might be a little uh, little high test for us, a little uh, too classy. So we walked down the street a little bit and found a, um, a pub that I can't really remember the name of. But we went in there and we started drinking and had dinner and just had uh, probably the best time of the trip uh, doing that. Um, and I started off drinking sort of my normal drinks. Like I had an Old Fashioned, I had a Manhattan. Um, and then my friend Brandon... I was like, I want a dark and stormy. And I was like, where everyone's like, what the hell is that? And they're like, he's like, you never had a dark and stormy? And um, he introduced me to it. And uh, it's kind of become a little bit of a obsession because it, it does, it is really good. It mixes one of my favorite things, which is ginger beer. And ginger beer is kind of like a, a much more robust ginger ale. Um, if you like, uh, I think Verner's is about as hardcore as, I'm not, not, I don't want to say hardcore, mm, don't say that, but I think Verner's is about as in your face as a ginger ale gets, but if you want more than a Verner's, uh, except for like, you know, craft ginger ales, let's be, let's be frank here, if you, grocery store ginger ales, Verner's is about the, um, the gingeriest of them all, uh, but if you want a little bit more kick, you'll get ginger beer. And uh, this is Gosling's, and as you can see on here, around his neck, it says, Stormy. So there's one half of the name. And what goes into this drink that makes it dark? None other than dark rum, or in this case, the Kraken black spiced rum. And, um, you know, we were already kind of under the table a little bit, and we started talking about this rum and just like the hilariousness and the awesomeness of that bottle. And these two handles up, these things up here are so friggin useful to hold the bottle as you're pouring it's just I don't know why every bottle does not have these little glass handles um, but this is actually a uh, pretty inexpensive rum and uh, a very very good one I'm actually really um, impressed uh, with the Kraken and it's just I don't know there's just something you know it's just funny to do whenever you uh, you know <laughs> case in point uh, my girlfriend was out here yesterday and she wanted a drink. And so I was like, well, do you want a dark and stormy? And she's like, sure. So I pulled this out, and of course she laughed at the bottle. And then as I was uncapping the bottle, she's like, release the Kraken! And, well, that's when you know you have a keeper. Um, so anyway, I already got my glass here with ice. And what we're going to do, handy measuring shot glass, you're just going to pour out one ounce of the Kraken. Don't release the entire thing, just a little bit at a time. Pour it into your ice there. Very good. <laughs> Open up your Gosling's ginger beer and just pour it right on top. Very easy. Um, kind of inexpensive. Um, ginger beer, because it's more of a, um, I guess, more of a niche product than uh, ginger ale, is a, a, a little bit more pricey than, uh, you know, ginger ale, but uh, give it a little stir here and mix the uh, the rum and the soda together, the ginger ale, ginger ale, ginger beer. Now, the thing with ginger beer is every ginger beer I've ever had really kind of burns your throat a bit when it's going down. Um, and the amazing thing about this is, is the rum really kind of... Um, it still maintains that burning sensation of the ginger beer, but at the same time, it really kind of smooths it out and gives it a, a much, um, much more palatable flavor. 
Um, you can garnish this with a lime. I went to the store this morning and completely forgot to buy limes. So, mm, no lime for me. But, you can put a lime wedge in there and that will, you know, add to the experience. But anyway, let's go ahead and give her a shot. You still get the tingly feeling of the ginger beer, which... Yeah, it really smooths it down. Um, I never tried it with one of these, um, the Jamaican style ginger beers. Those are really spicy. Um, and that might be something, that really put some hair on your chest. That might be something to try. But uh, we um, <laughs> we ran up quite a drink bill. Uh, there were six of us that went to PAX. And including dinner and drinks, we ran up a $300 <laughs> bill that night. So... We had, um, I think it was all said and done, 13 Dark and Stormies were poured for our group. Um, and of course, I consumed the most of them because I'm just a horrible, horrible person. But, um, you know, we made it back to the hotel safely and, uh, you know, managed the subways extremely well. So, obviously, we weren't too um, under the weather. We kind of walked it off. We walked from South Boston back to the subway, which was kind of a far, little long trek. And then uh, cut the tubes back to uh, where we parked the car. By then, we were completely stone sober. Um, but yeah, the dark and stormy. A really nice um, sort of summer, summery drink. Um, maybe not as refreshing as like a gin and tonic or something like that. It has the effervescence due to the ginger beer. But um, the ginger beer and the rum is a bit heavier than the gin and the tonic. Um, because this is not a calorie-free uh, pop soda, whatever you want to call it, um, you might not be able to drink too many of these in a row. Uh, I know, like, for me personally, I can't handle a lot of pop anymore. Like, I just get really full feeling. And, you know, uh, one can... And a glass like this will make you too dark and stormy. So, you know, a, a six-pack of this will last you quite a while, even though this will go... F you need to kind of do it quick because this will go flat. But, um, yeah, they're a very good, very easy drink to make. Um, and, you know, it's going to start getting warm out. So, you know, break out the rum. Why is the rum gone? Unleash the Kraken. You don't have to use the Kraken. But um, if you see this on the shelf, uh, they're you can't walk past it and not at least kind of smile because it's just such a, a ridiculous, ridiculous thing. I don't know. It's funny. Release the Kraken! But uh, <laughs> anyway, um, that is it. I'm going to drink this. I'm going to try to put in some more time with Lost Odyssey. And then we'll see about me filming my Games of PAX video because um, I need to do it before I forget everything. I need you to do it. So anyway, that is it for this. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.